Hello, Tracy Irvine here. I'd like to help you um, understand the difference between uh, doing touch release, fast EFT, EFT, whatever healing modality um, is your favorite choice, uh, doing it from a victim mentality and from a place of empowerment. If um, something occurs and uh, your first thought is they're making me so angry or that makes me so angry or I'm so scared of uh, any of those things that cause you tension in your body uh, even if you're driving in traffic and you start feeling tension in your body then you need to recognize that you're coming from a victim mentality and so that's what the two perspectives module is uh, in the program uh, to help you understand are you allowing them or it to do it to you or are these things happening around you and you're choosing what response you want to have always always this is not about avoiding pain uh, you don't want to, because you feel bad, hurry up and do something to feel better, you know. Uh, that, is a, that is doing what you're doing to avoid the pain. That is not what we're about. We want to fully feel the pain, whether we're, it's anger, which is a human emotion we're supposed to have. Sadness, we're supposed to feel. So these are things that we're supposed to feel. It's just unhealthy when we hold on to them for a long period of time. It's bad for our body. Uh, there are times when there's a death in the family that it's a good thing to go ahead and feel the grief for for a while. It could even be for a few days, uh, you know. But you can still, because of what we do, you can feel happy at certain points too. But it's good to grieve. Just it's not good to grieve for a long time. Uh, something happens and you feel anger it's good to go ahead and explore that anger before trying to get rid of it and that is why before we start doing tapping or touching touch release uh, we always try to make it stronger we try to say other things to ourselves and, and remember other things to make the feeling stronger we want to go ahead and fully feel what we're feeling we don't want to ever do something to avoid the feeling uh, and I know that that's scary if it's a traumatic event you're trying to get over and that is why sometimes we don't fully uh, we, we, we work on a traumatic event over a period of time so that you don't feel overwhelmed but um, anyway don't want to get off track here the bottom line is uh, the important thing to understand is when you feel tension in your body ask yourself you want it to let that trigger you uh, instead of into a bad response trigger you of why am I feeling this what what am I saying or doing to myself that makes me feel this way and that puts takes you out of the victim mentality where it's out of your control and they're doing it or it's doing it to you you know but if you're asking the question why am I feeling this way? Uh, how? What am I doing to myself in that sense? Not why me, not that, but why is in the sense of what am I doing to myself? How am I doing this to myself? What are my thoughts? Uh, then you're no longer a victim. You're taking responsibility for what are you doing to yourself? You know, because uh, you are totally in control. I know that if you're just learning this, you don't understand that yet, and that's okay but you've got to understand the foundation of the Living Free Life programs in order to move forward. This is the foundation. Uh, yes, until the day you die, there are going to be things come in your life and you're going to feel bad, you're going to feel angry, you're going to feel uh, fear still. Um, those are healthy emotions, but if you stay there, then you're, you have the victim mentality but if you can recognize fully feel it and let it go life is going to be good for the most part again and death is is only thing that that removes you from life and you don't want to go there yet so what we need to do is learn how to feel the feelings and let them go but you've got to understand the difference between a victim mentality and being empowered to let it go and I'm just going to throw one more thing out there 
my my firm belief in this is if you allow yourself to let it go instead of holding on to the victim mentality that empowerment allows you to to do something of purpose if um, if I stay a victim and post on the internet and do everything out of from a negative point of view of these are making me angry and I'm just gonna share my anger you know then all you're and you're just trying to anger other people uh, typically those people just stay angry but if you instead allow that uh, you release that they're doing it or something like that that mentality of they're doing it to me they're making me angry they're you know the injustice of it all and instead say I believe that there is a positive there's a, a, a better way to do this then it that energy that used to go towards anger or fear or whatever can now empower you to make a difference in the world uh, I am totally against sex trafficking. Uh, I can sit and repost everything on the internet about all the bad stuff about it and feel the negative energy in my body and let it cause stress on my body and cause health issues and cause other people to have health issues by spreading my anger or I can uh, be a part of the solution and, and instead be saying this is a tragedy that these uh, ladies and boys and men you know have been put into sex slavery here's a solution let's get behind the solution and celebrate the successes whenever um, re, you know sex busted you see the difference one is empowering one is freeing one causes my body to feel amazing and one causes my body to feel tight and angry and anxious and and causes health issues and causes weight issues stress causes a lot of people to hold on to fat you know uh, it causes high blood pressure it, you know and the it causes so many things so anyway the the bottom line is I want you to to have the the perspective of I am doing this to release and let it go I'm if in the background you're going I don't want to feel this way I don't want to feel this way let it go let it go let it go then you're staying a victim and uh, if you if this is just like a foreign language a foreign language to you uh, then please contact me I want to help you understand this because even if you never make it through any of my programs you don't join the living free life for life, free life or any other program of mine uh, I want to help you get this basic understanding uh, so that the rest of your life can be better so uh, so please contact me if this is not making sense to you Bless you.